right, this is episode 16 of What's What. Those of you just tuning in, we talk about what we've been up to, and then we talk about something that's happening currently in the news, and then we talk about an interactive question that we ask you on one of our social media pages. The one that gets the most comments is the one that we read back to you guys with all the comments. So we're going to get right into what we've been up to. Um, I have a New Mexico trip that I'm going on with Joseph Bills um, and the Fonzarelli Project as well as ACE. Um, they're all artists out here locally in Arizona. I also did some new remodeling to my backyard. Um, got like this, you know, epic egg chair that most of y'all like. Don't act like you don't. That's what I need to do remodeling to my backyard. Um, I just need that brick fence up. And I'll be like happier with looking at it. Mainly because I don't want to see my neighbor's backyard anymore. Like, <laughs> see, I got a brick fence. <laughs> no offense, you guys, if you guys actually download, watch my shit, but like, what is going on over there? You know, I'm just saying, because like, I mean, the trash cans get taken out every week, and it seems like y'all are just letting it hang out in your backyard. <laughs> I mean, I, I personally wouldn't care if I didn't have to look at it. But I do have to look at the shit, and that's why I want a brick fence. Y'all want to go halves with me? Pain and suffering? <laughs> I'm just saying. But that's what I've been up to. What have you been up to, Miss Lady? Oh, well, I basically, I've been working um, with my artists um, on my record label, Twin Glock Entertainment. My um, artists include, of course, my wife, Vaughn of Peace. Um, I'm also managing. Shout out, Vaughn. I'm also managing Young Manifest. Um, he's also another one of my artists. And my children, my son, King of Law, my son, King Almighty, and um, my daughter, Angelic K, some of the most talented children that you'd ever meet. So i just been focusing on, you know, working with them. We've been doing a lot of music, you know, putting that together. We're trying to get together um, some more videos and things like that. So that's really what I've been up to, you know, lately. And, you know, with kids, they have... Um that really cool innocence about them and um it's not even just the innocence they have like what we used to have that enthusiasm they have the spirit my, my kids are not babies and, though uh, <laughs> it's it's more fun though to have like a parent mm -hmm. um type of relationship where really they're is. actually supportive of your career you know what i'm saying it really is. i think it breaks out a different type of enthusiasm i never thought in a million years that i'd actually today because I've been you know doing music for over 30 years I never thought I would actually be on songs with my children that were you know amazing to where you know like uh, I think I'm really good but my children hold their own with me and that means a lot to me you know what yeah I mean? and you know my children that you know basically are into it they're 16 17 about to be 24 you know so they're a little bit older but they all came into it on their own it's not like you know yeah and that's, I that's the doing beauty it. of it yes i love it and they are so talented that you know they keep me on my toes because just like you know i want them to keep up but with that's me good i gotta keep up with them you don't, you don't use it you lose it so <laughs> you gotta you gotta find a way to make it work and those definitely. young ones are definitely gonna keep you on your keep toes keep me on my toes keep like, me young no mom that's not even the lingo anymore it, You're not and, even and they do that shit, too right? you know even my son my son told me mom you know nowadays you're becoming a little too hard they don't want you know he, he was like you have to be a little bit more you know you have to give him a foot you have to give him a pillow or something. i'm from Let brooklyn sit, so it's hard for me not to come before hard knock your ass down right? <laughs> he's like mom you can soften up some so i'm learning how to not come off so aggressive, but you know, like I say, I'm from Brooklyn, from the old school rap. Yeah, and the old school is just like, come shut hard. the fuck up. And just so I'm working on that with down, myself. And they're and just I like, no, you had to put a pedal there first. And thank you to my children for helping me find, you know, a little softer part of myself. Yep. You just mix it up. You'd be like, I slapped exactly. the shit out of this person the other day, but I gave him a pedal afterward. I say it all the time. <laughs> All right, so what's happening in the news lately? I was driving in my car and I heard on the radio, I don't even remember what station has turned into. It's probably the throwback station because they have, you know, all my throwbacks on there. I love that station. Um, I think it's like 101.1. Okay. I always, it's like something throwbacks. It's something so freaking simple. I, anyways. They were on there, and they said men's birth control is coming out. Men's birth control. Naturally, I was like, I am 
excited. So why am I excited? First of all, um, it is not out yet for those of you who are really wanting to know the answers to that. Um, it is not out yet. Um, they expect human trials to start sometime the end of 2022 this year, but it is not out yet. Um, but it is 99% effective on male mice so far, and they are doing this study in the University of Minnesota. That's where I'm from. I'm from Minnesota, you guys. And those of you in my inbox always asking me where I'm from, what is the point of us making profiles? I just want to know because you guys really act interested in people and you can't even read a profile. Don't even go to the first page. Like, it is literally, you just click on the name and then they're all like, this person went to this high school, this college, and they are from this location. Exactly. Even places you've been. Some people be lying <laughs> like, even tells you places you've been. I mean, yeah, some people be lying, but I'm just saying, at least be like, come in my inbox with some shit like, I seen that you are from this place. Are you still located in that area? Right. Don't just be like, I get that because like on attractive. my profile, I have, I'm lazy. from Brooklyn, but I don't Stop have it. where I'm at now, so. Anyways, Minnesota <laughs> decided to put all y'all on birth control. Serves you right because something's not working. <laughs> 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 Men and taking birth control. That's going to be really interesting. You no, know, it's all about equality, and I just feel like, yeah, you know, women should be more concerned about, you know, the ability they have of getting pregnant, so on and so forth. It always does take two. It's two people in every scenario when a pregnancy happens or any type of other fuck shit. But now women, now women can focus more on being concerned about themselves so that men have an opportunity to take more responsibility and focus on being concerned about themselves. Because if everybody's concerned about themselves and you come together, you yeah. know, yeah, that's the best way to do it. So it takes a lot of pressure off both sides also. Yeah, and um, honestly, I think it's fair, you know, like, yeah. the men don't want to wear condoms anymore because it takes away the feeling, um, you know. <laughs> take some birth control. We take do some it. birth control, you know. We are Women subjected to hormones, and we have to get stuff either shoved into our arms or, you know, what, take is pills. It? Um, what are those things, IUDs, all these different yeah. things, you know. Because our man don't want to have to freaking... Even tubal ligations is a form of, you know, birth control that all women take because they scared to get pregnant, not knowing the effects that that can actually have on yep. your body because the everything has a long-term effect. And the surgery is a lot more um, damaging to a woman and a lot harder to, to heal from. And bisectomies are easy for men. You're out three the days. The reversal is also easier. And because they're so into paying for, like a lot of insurance companies are so into paying for family planning, they will pay for a bisectomy reversal, but will not pay for a tubal reversal. Which, if you ask me, is totally unfair, you mm -hmm. know, that they can actually do that. But I can see the reason why tubal reversals are less effective. Bisectomy reversals, pretty much, if you get that reversed, you're good to go again, you know. But with the tubal ligations, your chances of becoming pregnant are still very hard even with yeah. the reversal. So in a way, I can see why, you know, they're more willing to cover the bisectomy reversal because it has a better outcome. Okay. So, you know, it weighs. Yeah, so now we have not just women being like, okay, well, my man really hates wearing condoms, so I have to get on this birth control and stuff and so on and so forth. If you're the type of woman that has all these different reactions to certain types of birth control or IUD, so on and so forth, exactly. now you're a man, you can let him know. get on you the birth it. control. You do it. If I it's can do no it, longer it. gonna be the woman has to go get on birth control because the man don't want to wear a condom, and you guys are trying to find the right way to do intimacy exactly. that works for both of you. They can get on the pill too. And now look at it this way: when men, you know, are on the birth control, and women, you know, like you said, women accuse them, "Hey, that's your and that ain't my baby. I was on birth control." You know what I mean? Now they have, you know what? what I mean? Now they have more of some leeway as far as letting that woman know. Hey, no, no, you can't mess with me with that baby. I was on birth control. 
Yep. You know what I mean? So come on now. Y'all get the benefits too. Y'all get the benefits of easily saying that ain't mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got my prescription right here. <laughs> I'll let you know. I take my birth control safely. <laughs> yes. You know, y'all men can let these women know that is not, don't be putting that baby on me. You better talk to somebody else who ain't on birth control. I'm on it. Welcome nope, to the not. age of equality, people. This is what it's about. And to be honest, I'm loving it. I also, though, in um, an unrealistic place in mind, would also like to see a man pregnant. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh, that I mean, they have amazing. a lot of transgender men that are doing it now. You know, carrying a baby. You know, no, literally, they have inserted a uterus inside of a transgender man to carry a baby. So they're like born male? They're born male, and but they, they insert the uterus. You know, they've been doing, you know, things like inserting the uterus. Look that up, too. Inside of the men, they get the yeah, surgery. Man, you got men. more stuff. The <laughs> man can only get a C-section, oh, though, when that happens, you know, because oh, clearly, you can't push, push nothing the out. Out the But yeah, they <laughs> insert. You can now insert a uterus into a male. Hey, the who I want to see that shit. They're going to be bad. Well, into, should about. I say, I shouldn't say a male, into, let's say, you know. Uh, a person that identifies as female. Exactly, because we have to speak the correct terms nowadays because a lot of people get offended. So, I mean... Uh, it's just a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'll never understand it, but I respect it. I have my own, you know, views on that. But I will respect anything, anybody, you know. If you, if you were to be called a dog or a rat, are you a dog or a rat to me? <laughs> okay. Just make sure you come correct. That's it. Don't be coming be. over here acting all fucking crazy and then telling me you identify as an animal and then get mad because I slap Or because I call you a rat. The fuck? No. If you want to act like a freaking animal, I treated you like you identify exactly. as. Like, don't get mad at me. Get mad at yourself. You Choose know, a different identity. We have a time identity. where you can identify as anything you want. So. Yeah. I'm going to respect it. I might not agree or I might not understand, should I say. Mm -hmm. But I respect it because that's you. Be what you want to be. Just don't expect me to be sitting here on the same level as you wanting to be a rat. Uh, <laughs> and freaking I'm other good type with of me. Thing. I am good being whatever I want to be. See, now, I, I, now, I now it's that. even like now we are, you know, because of all of these different identities, even... We have to be considered cisgender females. Why we can't just be females? But there's so many different identities that now they're adding words to original females. Cisgender. Like, yeah, I, 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 I can't I, be I a can't regular girl no it. more. Now I just got to be cisgendered so everybody can understand the type of girl I am. For real. But I mean, it's levels that, to the shit. It's levels to it. I mean, you. It's, it's no longer even a natural woman. You're a cisgender now. You know, we even have titles. <laughs> So. Well, in my book, you're a woman. That's it. Because if you want to be a woman, that's what you are. I'm not going to sit here and be like, you know, all this weird stuff. Yeah, there's a lot of women that are you women can look like men. Make your weird statements of what you think, whatever is whatever. But if a woman comes to me and says she's a woman, she's then that's woman. what the hell she is. That's it. And that's how I look. I, 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 I don't even, I, I can't even follow it. Stop it. Mm. That's mm. it. Men birth control. The trials start. Supposedly the end of this year. I want to see a lot of you men signed up because I am curious. Let me know what your side effects are. I, I want to know, know if you're hormonal. I want to know if you start getting periods. Maybe you know. <laughs> I need to know all right. I need to know what you're I ain't trying to yeah. scare y'all, but I, I'm just curious. I, I am curious. Like, keep us in yes. the loop. Yes. You want to know what your experience is because we know what we experience. Emotional experience. experiences because we even experience emotional, you know what I mean, changes with birth control. I need to know the type. Is it going to make you more sensitive? I might even go on a You know, I need to know all this. Get some men to sign up. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. We want to know. We want to know, know how we this know how experience you feel about will be it too. for y'all. How do you feel about now that you're able to protect yourself in the same way a woman can? Yeah, equality. Look at it that way. That is a good You thing. now can protect yourself the same way we can and you now but just know that more than likely just like with women birth control it is also going to say it does not protect against stds <laughs> remember that so don't be getting on this birth control thinking you and ain't going to catch std run around with gonorrhea talking about i'm on birth control <laughs> <laughs> no 
Do not be out here that just way. screwing everyone because you can't get them pregnant, exactly. okay? Because you can still catch a different type of baby, and none of us want that baby that at you all. have. At all. At mm all. -mm. All right, so we have an interactive question <laughs> that I had asked. And it is, if your girl gives you a threesome, your dick is trash. Girls Ooh. don't share good dick. There's a this lot of comments on this one. It's going to be good for me, but let me tell you, I've had several threesomes. A so, lot. naturally, I'm going to give you guys my perspective. I'm naturally a territorial person, so I've never shared my, my female or male. I am bisexual. And, uh... I was just kind of curious. Does that mean what they said? I was genuinely curious. I was I like, does that mean that? I mean, that they're just like, then yeah, go learn from somebody else, shit, because you're not doing it for me. I don't think that. But I had several threesomes. Oh, I like you know, before this marriage, I was married for 25 years. You know what I mean? And in that 25 years, for about 24 of them, I've had threesomes. Honestly, several different threesomes, and it wasn't that you know it's bad or anything. To tell the truth, I had them because I wanted them myself, my own enjoyment. It really had not. I, I really didn't care about that. You know, it was all about me. So it, it really depends on why you want to do it yourself. A lot of women feel like that they're you know forced to do it because you know they feel about you know the men or anything. But in my in my case, I'm gonna be honest. I think I manipulated my man to do it because I wanted to. So yeah. I was probably on the, under, the other end of the spectrum to where I actually wanted to have threesomes. I liked women. She and was low key so, so basically, uh, and I wanted to be with women. And in order for me to be with women, and I was married, I convinced him to have threesomes. <laughs> and it worked shit. for me. Yeah. So, so in your perspective, it has nothing to do with you know, the dick like being trash. Can. That goes back to, like I said, with my... Um, coaching and power that go back that can lead back to that also because and you have you have several different reasons on you know why you do it yourself and I am one who I can't be territorial for one I believe in your own anatomy you only have control over your own anatomy you don't own nothing nobody else do and mm -hmm. even if they decide to go out there and do something I mean of course they're you know breaking agreements or you know whatever you have is crossing your boundaries but that's really they right you know you don't control anything nothing gives you control over mm -hmm. another person's anatomy you know what I mean so I'm one person that now I can say hey if you do this that's a boundary I'm not going to deal with mm -hmm. so breaking a boundary is totally different from you actually wanting to control what they do because if you go ahead and break that boundary you know i'm not gonna stop you i'm not gonna force you or anything yeah. but i'm gonna yeah. handle it after because that's a boundary that we agreed on had we not agreed on it it would be a different situation yeah yeah so. and what i mean by uh territorial is when it comes to me and my spouse whoever they may be it's not that i'm gonna start a fight with you or anything like that but if I know what I can forgive and what I can't. Right, and that's and, good. And, uh... Your boundaries. Yeah, and so for me, it's like, if I'm going to be healthy with you at any point in the future, I can't progress with you this way because we're clearly not on that same page. And you have to be on the same page, you know yes, what I mean? Yes, yes. And, um... Like, that's why but, I say people have different reasons, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. for what they do, you know. And I know a lot of women who actually have threesomes because they're just trying to please a man they want. You yep. know, so they're not happy And then it leads either. to resentment and all that other stuff. Jealousy, a lot of other feelings coming up, you know, so. And I always tell women, don't have no threesome just because, you know, you think that that's what that man went and you're going to be okay with it. If it's not something you want entirely mm -hmm. and you're not ready to deal with it, don't make nobody think that and you're And also, it. it's important, if you do go into this threesome, do it with the clarity that you are also making the decision to do so. And don't be sitting there that turning around on your partner getting mad at them. Oh, you're probably thinking about that bitch right now, mm -hmm. huh? Or that guy or whoever the case may be in the situation and bringing them randomly you're up in ready. an argument. Because then you're just not healed Those enough, so don't even put yourself... Ready. And the best way you can know that you're not ready is do you already get at your partner for assumptions of what you think they're doing? Now, do you assume that they're looking at him or that? her? And how do you, how does that make you feel? And that's how you know. And this is why I say mm -hmm. it's different dynamics because I was a person, I used to love watching my partner with other women. I was turn on for me to watch because I would vicariously live through him. And, you know, it'd be like it'd be me with her. 
<laughs> you know what I mean? So I actually got enjoyment out of watching. So, you know, that's, so, so that's how right. you knew that. That's how I knew I was okay with it because the watching part was, you know, I actually have a song about it. And I wrote that in one of my songs, how I watched to get turned on. Yeah, so that's how you knew you were ready for exactly. it. Exactly. So, um, moving forward from what um, Quan, I say your name right, yes, Quana? Quana. Quana. What Quana was saying is that make sure you're secure with yourself, basically. Exactly. It's if you, you are a jealous person or you're insecure about them already looking or the thought of them looking at someone else, you're not ready. Don't it's not even think porn. about it. How do you feel about them watching porn? Because a lot of people um, actually feel... You know, disrespect it when their partners, you know, watch porn. It's something I can never understand because usually, I mean, porn is not so much of, you know, any feelings involved. That's just, you know, a lot of people have sexual wants and needs and nature. And can't nobody please you like you can please yourself. So when you're feeling insecure of your partner pleasing themselves, then that's something you need to look into within yourself, if you ask me. Because they can't even touch their own body without you feeling a certain way. That's really, seriously, that's something you really need to look into within yourself. You definitely are not ready for no threesome if you're uncomfortable with them. You know, something as simple as, you know, imagining things, which is their right. It's their head, their mind, their body. You know, it's their right. And if you're not comfortable with them, you know, even doing that within themselves, you're jealous over them and themselves. Don't have a threesome. Yeah. You're not ready. Yeah. Take all that into consideration. So we have comments here. Jennifer says, I guess I could agree, but I would never allow a threesome to happen in my relationship. Allow is a word that I don't like that people add, and that's another thing that I coach with in relationships because allow, allow, control. You cannot allow anything from another individual. The only thing you have control of is yourself. Now, I, I agree more so with the words of... I would not want that in my relationship or I'm not going to accept a relationship like that. But allow, you have no control over nobody else. And allow puts you in a place where you actually must feel like you have some control over the anatomy to even, you know, put that word in perspective of anything they do. So yeah. when I coach, I try to, you know, help people take that word allow when it comes to their partner out of their language because that's a big mishap and that yeah. can destroy relationships. Hannah said, I would never allow another person to enter into my relationship, especially if things are good. So they used allow again. Yeah, I right. work with that. It's You're not right. about allowing. I wouldn't accept it. Except and allow. Do you see what I mean by the difference? Allow is that control. Take right. that control Give up that control you have of that other person thinking you can control anything they do and worry about controlling yourself. Know what you'll accept. Yeah. And that's how you replace it. Jeron Igner says wrong. Um let you read Steven. Steven. Um, it's the exact opposite of that, actually. A confident and secure partner will be willing to give their partner that. One, because they're confident in what they provide to their partner, but also because they don't want to lose it by not doing so. He, he got me at first going the right way, but then if you got to do anything in fear of losing somebody, give them up. It's not worth it. Yeah. Ashley Cohn said wrong as well. Um, Curtis Johnson... What is it? Fakes, they Facts, be like, you're trying or, to say. <laughs> okay. Facts. Facts. Okay. Yeah, they be like, oh, you want a threesome, nigga? Well, she can have you, and I'm going to take your dick with me. Huh? Well. What? I mean, I got, I got to see the type of women that y'all dealing with. <laughs> yeah, I They must be some freaks. <laughs> mm-hmm. Steven, again, um, only a, a woman who's been handled right or a dude who got a strong bed game know what I am talking about. Uh, he, he, he more so into himself. Don't have a threesome with Steven because if you have a threesome with Steven, it's all about him. <laughs> uh, how do you even say that name? Lizzie? Which one? No. Oh, Tarpley. Tarpley. Wrong ass fuck is what he said. ASF. All your guys' abbreviations I had to learn. Lizzie Lizzie. All right, Lizzie Lizzie. Her artist name is Lizzie Page. Um, I think it depends on the morals and views people have on what a healthy relationship is supposed to be. So let's swap genders. Gentlemen, are you confident enough to have a threesome with another dude? Let's talk about it. Laugh out loud. Same thing. Agree. 
a lot of men are, you know, they okay if, you know, uh, they have a threesome, you know, with another girl. But when it comes to another man, that's where, you know, it goes into play on are they confident enough to handle it? Because a lot of men has a, have a double standard on that. But I'm going to tell you too, because a lot of men also think of it in the nature of two dicks there. Which I get. You know what I mean? That's not very comfortable for a lot of men to get hard on with another man. Either. But you know, it's women, vice versa, women relate it's like sexually two differently. Holes there. But women relate sexually differently, and that's the thing. Men are more physical. Women relate sexually with not just physical, but mental, emotional. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's women, well, honestly, it's a little easier for a woman to get turned on with another woman, whether she's bisexual or not, than it is for a man, a straight man to be in there and see another straight man hard dick. Let's just be real. <laughs> you know what I mean? Honestly, it's a little more, because a lot of men are not looking at it in that perspective. They are looking at it as two hard dicks. You know, women, honestly, they head don't go to two wet pussies. No, they don't do that. You yeah. know what I mean? They think of it on a different level. So, in a way, I can see why a lot of men, you know what I mean, are skeptical, you know, on that level. But yeah, or they're just like, be, I'm too masculine Then for you got to be strong in your own sexuality. You know, I went to the gym. If you're showing your I sexuality, another way. man's hard dick ain't gonna, you know, yeah. do anything to you. You're not gonna worry about it because you're strong in your own sexuality. So, but yeah. yeah. So, how strong are you men in your sexuality? That's what we want to. That's what I want to know. Yeah. It's not a. It's not a. A, a small few. A, a small few. Because a lot of them feel like they got something to prove. Exactly. It's all. It's about pride. Scotty Roddy. Three. Why would a girl five. stay with someone who dick is trash? Cause she love them. But you know maybe, what? The trashy is dead can be good I don't if know. you love them. No, the maybe trashy, you need to teach them something. When you love somebody, <laughs> when you, let me tell you something. When you, it can, I've known people who have who have been in relationships with people who have erectile dysfunction, and they love them to death and stay with them. That's their gummy worm. You understand what I'm saying? What? <laughs> If you ever hear us out anywhere and we say you got a gummy worm, <laughs> that day gummy worm. We know you're watching. And you're laughing with that gummy worm. Cause I'm gonna say that shit from now on. I'd be like, "What's up, gummy worm?" And they okay with it, you know. They gummy worm is all laughing. right to know. You know what I mean? It's just what they mean. I appreciate so. you. You start laughing. That means you're watching us. But if you you're not watching. You don't know what the hell we're saying because we're going to be saying gummy worm from now on. <laughs> and it's going to be used as an attitude, too, if you got that gummy worm attitude. That gummy worm. <laughs> it's going to become a whole song now, too. You're going to have to have a, have a jaw of gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think we lost it. Okay. Rochelle, definitely doesn't mean that. Laugh out loud. Which is a joke. It doesn't mean that. What is that? Flex. Girls don't share not even dick. Dyke women. Or Dyke women, if she ever asks for one, it's a setup for an argument. Uh, it depends. Like I said, all relationship dynamics are different. I, like I said, I spent 25 years having some. three times. So I'm not <laughs> having one now. Yeah. And that's only because of my choice. It got nothing to do with nobody else or how nobody else felt. Honestly, I mean, I know how my wife feels about it, but whether or not she felt a certain way about it, I'm still going to make my own decision. And it's not going to be based on her feelings. And I have to make sure it's based on my feelings so I can move forward. And be having a threesome. <laughs> um, Jacob, Jacob, if this were true, I'd feel like I'm entitled to compensation. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> well, okay. All right. We can go ahead and read the next uh, one. Jamal, I had a girl who used to talk all that good shit until she decided she actually liked me. I'm not sure I understand that too much, though. What that got to do with? Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. Uh, well, let us know, Jamal. <laughs> Ivory. My girlfriend went back shit when I made a joke about it to test the water. So, yeah, I kind of believe this. Uh, it's about, like I said, some with most girls, so, when they deny it, it's not about you. It's about them. Yeah. Um, let's see. What is that, Elton? Yeah. Women that, that get black snake moan more than willing to participate in order to keep day man happy as a... Damn it! What? What are you doing when you're texting? Cause you are. I know. Okay, I'm. A, this you is what you're trying to say. It, Women that get that black moan are more than willing to participate in order to keep that man happy, as opposed to losing him, or worry about 
or worry about him out fucking other women behind her back. Speaking from experience and plenty of women that randomly bring this bring up this subject. Some women will do it to keep a man and that's really sad if you ask me. Yeah, I just get rid of the relationship. Get rid of the man, yeah. You know, you're, you're doing not gonna too do much. it because you enjoy it. Don't do it. Don't do that to yourself. Mm. Don't sacrifice your own self, mental health and emotional health. Mm -hmm just to try to get somebody basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to force them to feel about you the way you want them to feel mm -hmm. yeah and you and can't do you that can't, you can't compromise and that's like sad that. if you okay with forcing somebody to feel the way you want them to feel that says a lot about you yeah don't compromise in a relationship for nobody at all i don't care how good they are or it whatever doesn't matter. nobody's good enough it's, for you to um basically compromise who you are and what you want eventually it's not going to be good no more because you're eventually going to have so much resentment and everything never be that okay with forcing someone to love you the way you want them to love you if they can't do it naturally if you're okay with the fact that you had to force them, mm -hmm. even give ultimatums or do things like this, if you're okay with that, to be honest, that is on a level of pathetic because they're not doing it naturally. They're doing it because of the stipulations. And you shouldn't want that for yourself. And that's really big. Yeah. So, um, that is all the interactive questions that we had from that question for those of you curious on what that question was it is if your girl gives you a threesome your dick is trash girls don't share good dick so that was the post I made those were all the comments that were read and this is our thoughts on um, that topic um, you can let us know what you think about that topic Definitely. on the YouTube channel that we have and you can also tell us on that post that I made as well. Um, your thoughts. Yep, your thoughts. And we probably won't read them next time, but we'll <laughs> still be reading them in the comments. We just won't be reading them on air because you missed the boat on that one. Sorry. Be more engaged next time. Check out the next one. <laughs> yep. Episode 17 will be coming in June. And then we'll have more information for you then as, you know, we figure out new things are happening in the news and so on and so forth but until then bye